Hello, welcome back. We are here now with another two minute review of The Idol, this time episode two, which I think might have actually been a little bit of a step up from episode one. All right, not like a great show, but just a bit of a step up. Anyways, let's get into it. Two minute timer on right now. So like last time, we're going to talk about the good and then we're going to talk about the bad. At one point, we see Jocelyn showering and I appreciated the decency to not show any nudity in the shower because it's not a sexy scene. That should not be a compliment. But after the way that they were being super, super sexual in the previous episode, I feel like I have to give them props for avoiding being sexual in a moment that didn't need any sexualness whatsoever. I like Jocelyn's whole team better in this episode. I feel like they cut out the really crappy comedy that that they were trying to go for in the last episode, just did less of that and more just messy talking to each other and being all over the place and unfocused and manipulative and I kind of liked it. I also just really liked the ending of this episode to be honest. I feel like they put this in a position to set this up for some kind of interesting plot lines in the next few episodes. Do I trust the people writing this show to actually follow through with that? To be honest, I do not. Now to the bad. The filming just seems extremely, extremely unfocused, especially there's this one scene where they're filming the music video and it goes on for a really long time and you can't tell if they want it to be sexy or if they want it to be gritty, but they did all these parts that were just making it really sexy. And it's just like, if you want it to be gritty, make it gritty, don't go for the sexiness. Also, the filming of it just seemed really bland because you have other really cool movie making scenes, specifically in Babylon. Scene 17, take eight. Mark. That scene is masterful, and this scene just doesn't come even close to that scene. It doesn't even touch a hair of that scene. Shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! The weekend's acting is still not really that great and he reminds me more of Morbius than a sex icon like the show is trying to portray him as. Also, last episode they were trying to say that Jocelyn was dangerous and trying to portray her as that, but she didn't seem dangerous at all. In this episode, she still does not seem dangerous whatsoever. And as a cherry on top of everything, I kind of feel like that they are glorifying mental health a little bit in this episode. And with that being said, stop the timer. I don't know how I did. Maybe I made it a little over. Maybe I made it a little under. But what about you guys? I want to hear all of your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you even watching the show? Or are you just watching these reviews to see if this show is any good? And obviously you're seeing that it's not really that good and probably not worth checking out. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, just thank you for all the support on the last episode I did of the show. If you want to see more videos like it, feel free to just leave a like and subscribe to the, this video as well. Let's try to hit 10 likes on this one. I've never done a like goal before, so we'll see if it sticks or not. I don't really know. And if you would like to watch another video, feel free to check out this one right here of Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Thank you so much for watching and take care everyone.